Hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Keisha and today I'm going to be doing a fall weekend vlog. If you hear me shivering, it's because it's like 30 or 40 degrees and it's 7.30 in the morning and I'm really cold, but I have a very fun fall weekend planned. I have a lot of things on my fall bucket list that I just really need to get done. So I thought this weekend would be a good one to get those goals accomplished. So <laughs> I have a list of fall things that I would like to do. So I figured I could just take you along with me and we could do some of these things together and check off this list. But I think that on this list, there may be something that I'm missing. So hold on just a second.
All right, y'all, I am back home from my trip, and that was a lot. Not Y'all didn't see a lot, but there was a lot of things that happened. So I'm not gonna go through everything. I kind of showed you through my little fall bucket list, what we all did this weekend. The only thing we didn't super do is have like the autumnal slumber party, PJ party. We didn't watch a movie. We had like brought coloring books. We didn't really get to do a lot of that or like play games because we got back a little late. So we just basically talked and went to bed. So that was the only thing we really missed. But other than that, my fall bucket list is complete. So I'm so excited to share with you all what I brought home with me from the trip. We're gonna start with a fall Trader Joe's haul. I always like to go to Trader Joe's whenever I go to the Franklin or Nashville area because I don't have a Trader Joe's near me. So I got a couple things. One of the things that I got with my husband in mind was these dark chocolate orange sticks because I know my husband likes dark chocolate oranges around Christmas time, so I got him those. And then I got some dark chocolate covered mini pretzels, which are not inherently fall, but I'm always down for some dark chocolate pretzels. And obviously I had to get these just because they're shaped like fall, but they're different chocolates shaped like different like pumpkins and fall shapes and all that fun stuff. And then I got the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I will definitely be making pumpkin muffins. I love using the, I think it's the Pillsbury brand that I get from Walmart, but I'm really excited to try this one. I can't remember if I've tried this one before, but I'm excited because I don't remember. And then obviously the signature pumpkin Jojo's. Are these basically just like the pumpkin Oreos? Yes, but these are better. So I got the pumpkin flavored Jojo's and that is my Trader Joe's haul. So Next up, I did get, okay, these girls, let me tell you, Jordan and Hannah are two of my absolute best friends, and we had originally planned to meet up for my birthday in September. However, that ended up not panning out, and so we ended up, this weekend was kind of like my birthday weekend trip with them, but I'd kind of forgotten because honestly, I was just excited that I was getting to show them like Franklin for the first time because neither one of them had been. So we did like downtown Franklin and we did obviously bookshop and things like that. But also, oh my goodness, I didn't even say this before now. We met up with April from April's Always Reading. Some of you all may know her. She's in like some Patreons here or there. I know she's in Gwen's Patreon. I mean, she's involved in the book community, but I know she doesn't like post a lot and she's not on booktube, but April is amazing, and so I'm really glad we got to meet up with her today. She did Parnassus, Half Price Books, and um, McKay's with us, so that was fun. I didn't get a lot of filming in, in general, <laughs> but she was in a couple of those clips. But um, before I show you the books, like I said, I, these girls celebrated me and my birthday a month later, and I was like, I'd forgotten all about it, and then they're like, oh, it's your birthday. So like, Jordan brought me a sash, I had a balloon, I had, um, she had like a banner or whatever, which we did never really get to hang up, but she brought me macarons, which are like my favorite thing right now, like my favorite dessert. So I've been eating on those. And then her and Hannah brought me gifts because they are just the most wonderful people. Not that they didn't already send me a birthday book on my birthday, but now we have this. Also, sorry if the light keeps flickering. My ring light is doing weird things and this is terrible lighting, but we're just, this is what we have. So, um, Jordan ended up getting, yeah, they did too much. Let me just tell y'all, they did, did too much. I'm like gonna break things, hold on. Okay, so y'all probably already saw some of that. I'm trying to like get this to not fall over. There we go. Jordan got me a mini karaoke machine. If you know, you know, like we love karaoke. So I was like, my husband's gonna hate you because I already sing enough as it is. <laughs> a little mini karaoke machine with two microphones to carry around. And then she got me these really pretty sunflower earrings. If you don't already know, I love sunflowers. So that was such a sweet gift. And then she wrote me a card. And when I pulled this out, I was like, did Corinna, where did you get that card? Cause I was like, this looks like something Corinna made. So if y'all don't follow Corinna, she makes these really pretty cards. She was like, yeah. She, and it, it says handmade with love by Corinna. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So I love that that is also like a little thing. It's like from Corinna without her knowing it. <laughs> and then Hannah, gosh, they, they both just did too much. Hannah ended up getting me this little bookmark with dachshunds that look like Jovi and little sunflowers. And then she also got me this one with tea. It's so cute. And then she got me 
a Scooby Doo mug. This thing is huge. Like it's almost as big as my, it is about as big as my head, but I love Scooby Doo. It's like my favorite fandom and I'm not like a big fandom girly, but I love Scooby Doo. And then she also got me this mug with the little sunflowers on it, which is so cute. And I love that it's, it looks like very handmade. I love when pottery looks I mean, it's all handmade, but you know what I mean? Like this compared to this, like this looks very handmade, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I got that. I'm gonna run out of places to put things. And then she got me this frame that looks like a dachshund. And I was like, oh, I should put a picture of me and Jovi and Will and Jovi in there. And that would be super cute. So I got that. And then she got me some Secret Garden tea. And this is like a sleep blend herbal tea, which I'm really excited about because I don't really have like a sleepy time tea. So that will be good for the evenings. Y'all. She got me assistant, or not assistant, Apprentice to the Villain, which is the sequel to Assistant to the Villain. And I'm definitely going to be reading this hopefully in January because I am so excited like to continue this in this world. I love Evie and the villain. They are just, I mean, I never thought that I would like love, love this series, but I really like it. So, and I love that it's got the light purple sprayed edges. So I'm so excited about that. So that's a book that I hauled. And then y'all look at this. She got me this sweatshirt. She said, I think she said her coworker made it. And it's got little Jovies and little Halloween outfits. Isn't that darling? Oh my gosh. So, needless to say, I was a little spoiled this weekend. And I was like, y'all, we're just hanging out. It's a fun fall girls weekend. And they were like, no, it's your birthday. And I was like, okay, but it was a month ago. <laughs> and they're like, but we didn't get to celebrate. And y'all, I'm telling you, you need to get you a Hannah and a Jordan in your life because Honestly, like that's the sweetest thing ever. Like to, it's literally been a month since my birthday and they were like, we didn't get to celebrate you then like we wanted to. So we're gonna do it now. And I just think that that was just the sweetest thing. Like literally they're the sweetest girls. So real quick, last up, I'm going to show you all the books that I hauled. So if you've made it this far in the video, I want you to quickly guess how many books you think I hauled. So I will tell you all the bookstores we went to, okay? So we went to Landmark Booksellers in Franklin. We went to Barnes and Noble. We went to Parnassus. We went to Half Price Books and we went to McKay's. So we went to five bookstores. I want you to really quickly pause the video or you don't have to pause. I think you can comment and still watch and let me know how many books you think that I got on my shopping trip. Okay, that's long enough. I'm gonna show you how many books I got. So the first book that I got was at Barnes and Noble. And I'm so excited about this. I got this book. This has been on my radar for a minute, but I was waiting to hear reviews and I'm hearing good reviews. So this is called Tea with Elephants by Robin Jones Gunn. This is a suitcase sisters novel and it just sounds so cute. Basically it's Christian fiction and it is a friendship story and it takes place in Africa. It says, ever since Fern Espinosa and Lily Graydon met as teenagers volunteering at a conference center in Costa Rica 20 years ago, they have shared a close friendship, even though they live in different states. They can hardly believe it when their teen dream of traveling to Africa together becomes a reality. It's the trip of a lifetime, but life sure isn't what they thought it would be back when they were young. This is an unforgettable adventure on a safari of the heart with a vulnerable exploration of how to move forward in faith even when the future is uncertain. I am so ready for this. It's a short book. I feel like it's gonna be really good. So I got this one. The next book that I got was at Parnassus and I was hoping beyond hope that I would find this somewhere. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. I didn't learn about it till probably halfway through the year, but this is The Most Wonderful Crime of the Year by Allie Carter. I have not read anything by Allie Carter. I know she wrote The Blonde Identity and I think she wrote like, she may have written a young adult se series at one point in time. I'm pretty sure she did. I can't really remember, but I'm pumped for this. This is supposed to be like Knives Out meets a rom-com twist. So it's a rom-com, but it's also a mystery and I'm here for it. I don't know all the details of it. It says, let's see. The bridge is out, the phones are down, and the most famous mystery writer in the world just disappeared out of a locked room three days before Christmas. That's all I'm gonna read. I don't wanna know much more. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. Like, I cannot wait to read this. 
There are big words on the page and it's short. It's like 275 or something pages. I am so stinking stoked for this. So I got this book and then the last, mm -hmm, yeah, you heard that right. The last book that I got, I got three books. I bet y'all guessed that I got more. I did not. I don't know who got the most, but it wasn't me. <laughs> I got The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. Now this may come as a surprise to some of y'all because you're gonna be like, Keisha, number one, have you even read a Catherine Center? No, I have not. Um, I own, what is that book called? What You Wish For. And I really wanted to read that one first because it had a synopsis that piqued my interest more originally because it was a school librarian story and I think it was like a second chance romance. However, I've had people ask me to read this, tell me to read this, and different books by Catherine Center. This isn't the only one. I've had people tell me to read other ones too. And I'm very stubborn. I feel like y'all know that. I'm very stubborn. But this one, like the original premise of this that I heard was like, oh, like she is his bodyguard and it's like maybe grumpy sunshine in me. I don't really know what it is, okay? I don't know. But nothing about that piqued my interest. But since then, I've heard things that piqued my interest. One of the things being that I think this takes place in like a small, it feels like small town country vibes. And I don't know. I don't know what it is except that I had store credit and at McKay's and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get this. So I did. So eventually I will read a Catherine Center. I don't know when I'm going to read this. Maybe spring. It's got spring flowers. Maybe I'll read it in the spring. Why have I never noticed she's wearing a cowboy boot? Cowgirl boot, whatever. Never noticed that. That probably would have piqued my interest more too. But I do like this cover. I've just never read a Catherine Center. So I do need to read one of hers. What You Wish For or this one, whatever. But I don't I don't know. I've got to gauge with her. So those are the three books that I got on my haul. And that was my fun fall weekend. I hope you all enjoyed getting a little bit of a glimpse into my weekend. I know I didn't get a lot of clips because we were just trying to be present and in the moment. And I just love having friends that are like, they're not super close by, but they are like on the other side of the state. And so getting to meet up halfway and just like spend time with each other was so like, especially in this season of my life, it was just so good because like, this has been a really stressful season for me. Just keep me in your prayers. Everything is fine. It's not anything huge, but like I needed this break and this weekend gave me life. So I'm so, so thankful for these girls. They are literally just some of my best friends. And if you don't already know them, you definitely need to check out Jordan and Hannah's channels. I will have them linked down below. And also April, don't forget about her because I met up with her too. She um, is, I'm going to link her Instagram down below. She doesn't have a book too, but she's super sweet as well. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed getting a little glimpse into my weekend. If you made it this far in the video and you didn't guess earlier how many books that I read and you want to leave a comment for support, you can go ahead and leave a fall leaf emoji down below. But I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.